Hello there everybody, you are the audience, my name is Supersonic Blur, this is a random video. And by that I mean literally a randomizer video, because why the hell not? It's been way too long since I've done anything video wise, I've got a bug for doing this stuff, so screw it, let's do it. Pokemon X, randomizer, Nuzlocke as well, because why the hell not? So, for those who do not know the rules on a randomizer, well, quite literally, everything is random. There are no rules aside from play Pokemon, but for a Nuzlocke, things are a little different. One, you can only catch the first Pokemon in an area. If you kill it, well, that's too bad. You missed that one. Speaking of killing it, if any of your Pokemon faint in battle, sorry buddy, they're dead. They are gone. They are out of here. There are some other rules that others can do, i.e. like, don't heal up, don't use items. For now, we're going to keep it fairly simple. Um, there is also as well one other thing, that's just the shiny clause, which is, if I find a shiny, I get the shiny, because I want my shiny. And the other one is uh, one that I like to do, which is necromancy. Essentially, every Pokemon has the option to being revived once but i have to sacrifice two pokemon that are in the pc to bring one back from the dead i can only do that once other than that you just gotta name your pokemon so that uh you get attached to them i think that's everything if it's not well i don't remember anything else but now look at this it's a pokeball da -da -da -da. welcome to the world of pokemon I am Augustus Sycamore, the Kalos region's very own Pokemon professor. He's French, right? I think he's French anyway. This world of ours is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. I'm going German. I'm going German. Oh, yes. I, I can't do a French accent. These mysterious creatures can be found in every corner of the world. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies, but others swim in the vast oceans. We live together with these Pokemon, lending our strength to one another to live and prosper. Let's get started with some quick questions. Are you a boy or a girl? Uh, I guess for the sake of it, I'll go with this. I'm good into gender politics. And what do I look like? The closest I look like is this. So I'll go with that. Oh, I see. Uh, would you like to tell me your name? Oh, wouldn't I just? Wouldn't I just? I don't know if I can fit the whole thing. P. E. R. And. Uh, I know I can definitely get supersonic. And I see. And then I guess I will cap it out with a supersonic B. And that will do. There we go. So it's a uh, supersonic B then. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. All right. Supersonic B, très bien. What a fantastic name. Supersonic B, your adventure begins now. So go and welcome to the Kalos region. Let's go and visit the world of Pokemon. There's a lot more that I missed, but that's fine. Oh, now I will say. Technically, Pokemon Y is the first Pokemon game I ever actually went and bought. So yeah, I have played not much of Pokemon, I'll be 100% honest. Like, this is, the, this is the games that sort of really pushed me in for Pokemon. I grew up with the show, I grew up with like the, the trading cards. Didn't really play any of the games, which was, uh, well... That's kind of just how it was for a while. Let's see how we're doing. I know I can, uh, if I remember correctly, you can spin around. No, get get up. Can we check the PC? We gotta check the PC, right? Check the PC. His dad gave me. Oh, i a menu and record to save progress. Yep, I have a Nintendo Wii U. Yep, I got that. Right, let's leave. It's our mother with her. I can't even remember the name of most of the Pokemon. Morning, kid. You sure slept well. All rested up from the move? <laughs> oh, you look just like you rolled out of bed. Go over yourself. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go change. So, let's go change. Note, I'm not doing most of the voices, because... <laughs> no. That's a no. Not doing that. 
I can try, but uh, most of them are just gonna end up as Monokuma. Because why not? But yes, changed out of pajamas, yada yada yada. Yep, and this is about time we go going. Why don't we stop saying hello to the neighbors? Oh, social interaction. Curse you, I don't wanna do that. Can I at least wear a mask? Haha, <laughs> relevant stuff, cause COVID. Oh. Oh my. That's uh <laughs> that's a thing. Yeah, this uh this might be an emulation. Welcome to Vivid uh Devanaville Town. My name is Serena, and I'm your neighbor. And I'm Shauna. Great to meet you. Guess what? We've come to get you. And give us all your money. The esteemed Professor Sycamore lives here in the Kalos region. I was told he had a request for five kids, including us. But I'm a little surprised he knows who you are. You just moved into Vanneville after all. Well, we'll wait for you in the next town over. And you know what? We're going to get a Pokemon! Come on, hurry, let's go! Yep. Uh, yeah, this, uh, <clears throat> this may be being run on Citra. I don't really understand how everything in that works, but... Oh, the ride on. <laughs> Let me ride the ride on. Let me ride the ride on. Damn it. I wanted to ride the ride on. Can I run? I can run. I can definitely run. But yes, the Nuzlocke does not officially start yet. It'll start once we get our first Pokemon. We're on Vanuil Pathway. There's Route 1. Can we catch a Pokemon? No. And now we're in another town, so all the way over here. I know we've got a lot of stuff to do with regards to, like, uh, we were just talking about you. Come have a seat. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, they're going to pick my nickname now, don't they? This is the meeting place. Let me introduce you, everyone. This is me. Shona's description was spot on. <laughs> so, presumably, this is uh, Tierno. He's got some serious dance moves. And this is Trevor. He never misses a single question on this test, but he's a little shy. All right, nice to meet you. You know, I feel like we're a closer crew if we call each other by nicknames. Can I call you S Meister? What? No way! He's a little S for sure. What do you think, Trevor? Uh, what? You want me to nickname someone I just met? Uh, Shauna, you shouldn't put this much pressure on on the spot like this. Well, um, and, uh, how about something low-key? Maybe, um, just something like, uh, Big S? Why don't you decide what we should call you? Let me pick my own, because I want to go by... Blah. It's the best way to do it. Blah. And it works out well. That's a good nickname. You want us to call you Blur? Yes. Okay, Blur fits you perfectly. You're damn right it does. I'm sure we're going to be all great friends, so I'll call you that too. Wait, that was still Shauna. Hey, can we see the Pokemon now? How do we meet my new partner soon? All right, I know, right? It was such a cool feeling when Trevs and I met our Pokemon. Hope you feel the same way we did. I love the fact that he has perfect grammar as well for this. Ooh, what have I got? Choose a Pokemon. The Fire-type Pennon, Chespin, and Fennekin, or Froakie. Did I choose the right randomizer? I didn't choose the right randomizer. <laughs> Okay, I'm an idiot. I just opened Pokemon X. Uh, so, you know what? Be, be, be right, be right back. Okay, and I am back. Just finished things up. I, uh, hopefully this is the, uh, the right randomizer now. I believe it should be. Or maybe it's not gonna tell us what the Pokemon are. Ooh, would you look at that? It has worked. Okay, so I get the choice of the fire type Caterpie, the water type Rog and Roller, or Trico. I think I'm gonna go with Trico just because I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It is a st it is still a starter. Now, and one of the other things as well with the randomizer, I do have I do have random evolutions turned on, so it should be a case that. Uh, we don't get, you know, just the Trico line and go from there. So it shouldn't matter a huge amount, but given the early game, let's, let's go with that. Uh, let's go, let's go with uh, Trico. So we did it. We got a Trico. Now I gotta name them. I have received Trico, and we have to name them. Now, as a customary thing, I have always named my first, uh, ironically, my uh, my first po my first starter was a Chespin, which I named Taylor Jr. in uh, reference to a friend of mine who also wanted to get um, 
uh, um, the Pokemon X and Y series, but couldn't at the time. So I feel like, once again, I will make reference to my friend, Taylor Jr. And it's done. Taylor Jr., you are on the team. Did you decide on the nickname Taylor Jr.? Yes, we have. Okay, my partner is Froakie! Wow, we go together great! The two of just the two of us are just way -a -a too cute! Nice to meet you, Fennekin. I'm Serena. Because of you, I can be a real Pokemon trainer. Thank you. Um, uh, pardon me, but I have something for you from the professor as well. I have something that will help you understand Pokemon on, on a much deeper level. And I got a Pokedex. Heck yeah. Um, so, uh, you, you see, the, the, the Pokedexes that I just gave you all are, they're, well, they're, they're high-tech devices that automatically uh, records the Pokemon that you encounter. The, the reason I get you get one is because the professor wants us to go on a journey with our Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. To put it another way, it's an important mission from the professor. I'm sure of it. Oh, lighten up, Trevs! You're way too serious sometimes! Um, Blur, here, please, take this with you, too. It's a letter from the professor. He said you should give it to your mom. And also give it to the letter. Oh, boy. All right, we're done. We're done with our errand for the professor. I guess Trevs and I will go look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trevs! Yeah, those two go off. In Kalos, kids are chosen to carry a Pokedex and go on an adventure. But you need to give that letter to your mum before you go. I don't know why I'm making her overly British, but I am. I guess that's because of the accent that I have and the accent that I... Oh, no. Blur Wade! Oh, no. Give your opponent for my Pokemon de battling debut. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I am challenged by Shauna. And they sent out a Jellicent! Okay, so it is still randomized. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully this should go well, because I'm grass to water. So, let's see. I can only pound the Jellicent. Oh, boy. It doesn't affect- <gasps> Oh! What?! No! Are you kidding me?! You're kidding me?! <laughs> Anything. It's ghost type, and I have only no, oh, no. <laughs> oh my goodness, my goodness, my gracious, my me. Okay, I guess it's a good thing that we haven't started the Nuzlocke until we can get um until we can actually get Pokeballs. So uh, I, I don't have Pokeballs, right? Yes, I don't have Pokeballs. I just. <laughs> This is, this is, um, <laughs> oh no, Taylor Jr., you're off to such a bad start, it's fine, the Nuzlocke, the Nuzlocke will not <laughs> fucking perish, Tom, <laughs> oh Christ, but yeah, like I said, the Nuzlocke doesn't, you can do Nuzlocke's that start before then, but given the fact that we've literally just started this, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it don't work out. Is this just curse? Wait, just half its own HP to curse me? Why would you do that? I've been affected by the curse, and now I've been affected. So this son of a bitch cursed me. If we have a, <laughs> if we have a cursed Nuzlocke, it's because of this jealousy. <laughs> And it fainted as well because of the curse. So technically, it's a draw. Pretty good, right, Blur? Here, let me fix up your Pokemon for you. Say hi to your mom for me. God, that's... That's... Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I will put probably... Um, I'll probably put this on. Oh, yes. Yes, we know the Pokemon and me. So yeah, we can give them all uh, treats and stuff, which I will probably do at some point. But I'll put Trico there, and uh, probably I might I'll probably do something with that in a bit. You know, like off screen, some 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 grinding and stuff. You know, 
All the good stuff. So let's go. Say hello to your mother for me. <laughs> so what did you and the neighbor's kids end up doing? Uh, she, you know, cursed me and the rest of my time here. <laughs> Wait one second, is that a Pokeball you have there? You got your very own Pokemon, lucky you. How about that? You're a Pokemon trainer now too. Congratulations. Oh, a letter for me. It's just somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? I like how that's her first oh, lovely handwriting. What do we have here? A request. Oh, I see. Son, we have barely unpacked and all kinds of exciting things are happening here. I need the house for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> You and your chest been ready for your journey. Um, m m it's a, it's a, it's a, oh, okay. Where are you? What are you doing? There you are. I even packed a change of clothes. Thanks. What an unexpected turn of events. All of a sudden, last request burst of speed from a race of a right horn racer. You made friends, you met your Pokemon, and now you get to take a lap around Kalos. Oh, and don't forget this. I got the town map. Yay. All right. You know how to use the town map. Yes, I know how to look at the map. That a boy. Select the town map and the bag and whenever you want to use it. I don't know, this Professor Sycamore wants to see you on your trip, but taking a journey with your Pokemon is a wonderful experience. Yes, it is! I have been cursed though, so I'd like to point that out. Right on, my buddy! Yes! <laughs> what a card. I guess Rhyhorn just wanted to give you a big send off on your journey. Well, it has known you since you were born after all. Good luck, son. Go for broke. And don't worry, you'll have your Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine! Um... May maybe? I like how it backs up. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Give me the right on. Wah. Let's go! Oh, I won't let- I really wish it would let me go, but yeah. Thanks, buddy. You're the best. You're the best surrogate father you could ever ask for of a Pokemon. And that's even more so than Entei. <laughs> I guess Entei is technically the only surrogate father though. Well, it's a bit of a misunderstanding, but still. Anyway. Now Route 1 and Accord Town don't have anything. Uh, so let's head on up and over and oh boy. Hey Pokemon trainer! If you set foot in the tall grass, a wild Pokemon will pop out! But you'll be fine because you got your Pokemon partner to battle for you. Yeah, that's right. You don't go, uh, you don't go, um, murdering out all those wild Pokemon by your hand. You send out your other, you send out other animals to do it. Is this thing back here? I don't remember. No. I'll be 100% honest. It has been about, oh, at least, uh, uh, at least seven years. I'm pretty sure seven years is a good re uh, good response. But yes. Okay, we still do not have Pokeballs, but let's see what we could be fighting in here. Oh, it's a Pidgey. Uh, okay, those two are going to catch a Pokemon now, right? Oh, hi there. Come learn how to catch Pokemon with me. Serena's mom and dad are amazing trainers. That's why she knows so much about catching Pokemon and battling. Well, mom and dad may be good, but that's nothing to do with me. Now, watch carefully, you two. What Pokemon are you gonna find? I wonder. It's a Bonnerby! One of the Pokemon who has the worst evolutions possible. Ooh. And it's still the Fletchling, so yep, fight is smash it in the face. BAM! It got low, it used Leer, and then uh, then you just lob a Pokeball at it. Make sure to weaken a Pokemon, and then go to the bag and use a Pokeball. See, I would do- HOW DO YOU HAVE 50 Pokeballs?! Christ. Mummy and Daddy are very well off, it seems. But no, yes, um... The thing is, see, the thing is, is that if I get a random crit and it just thwaps out my Pokemon, I'm screwed! Well, the Pokemon went inside the Pokeball? Yeah, that's how that works. Shauna, what do you think your Froakie is inside of right now? Here, I'll share some Pokeballs with the two of you. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no! I need to... Oh, no! Pokeballs! Do you think you I can catch Pokemon with them, too? Sure, you can catch the po you can catch the Pokemon around here by just throwing a Pokeball near them. 
Okay, I'll find a cute Pokemon. I'll throw lots of Pokeballs at it, and then we'll become friends. When you catch a wild Pokemon, it makes your Pokemon stronger too. Good luck. Yeah, I need to go and heal. Don't catch any- Oh, thank Christ. That's that. So, yep, we can now catch a Pokemon. And I don't know what we're gonna end up with. Let's see what we get. On the Avance Trail. Let's go in here. And we get... <gasps> Yo! A wild Ampharos! <laughs> yes! I will give me that! Give me my Ampharos, my baby! Give me this Pokemon right now! Yes! One, two, come on, first try. First try! Yes! We got an Ampharos on the team! <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't think we are cursed. That's looking pretty good. And he got absorb. All right, that's pretty good. That's actually not too bad. And we got Ampharos in the data decks. <laughs> Ampharos, the tail's tip shines brightly and can be seen from far away. It acts as a beacon for lost people. Give a nickname? Yes! Alright. I'm naming you Zeus. It's Zeus. Let's go. I will do as many of them as I can. We'll be, um... Uh, oh, I also want to just, uh, switch. Uh, let's have a look at the summary of you right now. How you doing? Okay, okay. Not the best. Not the best. It's careful nature. So, minor special attack, up special defense kind of bad, but I don't think I can really be a problem. It's got a thunder wave as well. We can... <laughs> yes. Alright. So, yeah, I am going to switch you with that, just to switch in. Uh, and that looks pretty good. And let's have a look and see what else we could find around here. Just in case there's something else that's pretty great. If not, then, you know, we've at least got the Ampharos, so that's a hell of a start. Yep, just another Ampharos. That's a lot of XP that we can get here, though. So Zeus is going to switch train in. Uh, yeah, I will. I will switch in just because there's no reason not to. So I'll switch in that. If we lose, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm convinced that it's just going to Thunder Wave, and then we lose. But I don't think I can Thunder Wave the electric. I use Tackle. Flap. Two damage. Fine with that. Fine. I'm even going to use Absorb. Give me the suck. Give it the suck. Yeah. Good bit of suckage. I'll take it. What happens to his energy drain? Use Tackle again. It's only doing two damage per thing. It's literally slapping me. I can't really use Pound because if that makes contact, then, uh, then you know, the there is the chance for the static. Ooh, that roll was pretty good. I like it. This is where the Ampharos uses... Oh, I was going to say, if it uses, like, Tackle and then crits and does, like, half my health and damage, I'd be very upset. But, you know, we're going to use Absorb again. This should be the last time. Unless it's a low roll. Ooh, it was a low roll there. It gets Tackle one last time. And we're fine with this because we're just going to Absorb one more suck. And this should get it up to level three at the very least. Either way, what? Thunder Wave, Growl tackle and there was one more electric move as well i'm pretty sure still is at level seven now which is pretty good we'll take that not looking too bad and zeus gains 65 experience as well that's level three maybe level four no no level four that's unfortunate so let's keep going just a couple more times just a couple more just you know just a couple more oh Lumion was the other option I'm very glad we got the Ampharos. All right, what was my other electric move? Thunder Shock! Yes, we're gonna do that. Use Gust, okay. Don't kill me, don't kill me. It did one damage, because it's not very effective. And wait, that was a crit! That was one damage crit! <laughs> oh my God, and we got the paralysis as well. That's ridiculous. Okay, let's do that again, because Thunder Shock is gonna do a lot of good work. 
Puts it in the red. Super effective. Used attract, but it doesn't affect me because I'm the same type as you. And now we're just going to punch you in the face. Give it a good slap in. Slap it. Yes. You slapped the fish and a crit as well. Zeus. Mwah. 69 XP as well. Nice. This is actually going a lot better than I thought it was going to be going. It's slow as all hell, but everything else is there. Bam. And level five. All right. All right. All right, Zeus. Not bad. Not bad at all, Zeus. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty much everything in here. We can check up here as well. Just in case. Let's see what it was. Could it be anything else? Oh, Azuelos. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna Thundershock that. Because I'm pretty sure it's dragon flying. No, maybe not. It's not very effective. But it gets the per <gasps> Zeus with the paralysis hacks. Used bite, which is a dark move. Oh no, it's Dragon Dark or something. I don't know. Pokemon. We're now gonna switch to Taylor Jr. Just because I don't want Zeus dying. That would be bad. But yeah, the Swilos. There's some serious Pokemon in this first area. Focus energy. Oh. Oh no, let's, uh, let's not do that. If I remember, focus energy increases the chances of crits. Not very effective either. Ugh, this could be bad. How does energy drain? You should focus it. Oh my god, it failed. Thank Christ. Okay, let's use pound instead. Used pound, it might be better. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a lot better. Just dragon, dragon rage! I don't think we are cursed. Oh! Okay! Uh, uh, okay! Uh, okay! So, Taylor's dead now. Okay! That's, uh... That's unfortunate. Dragon Rage! Okay! Okay! Ha! Huh. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, okay. I guess that's. <laughs> Look at Taylor Jr. there. Oh no. Well, I think that's probably gonna do it for a first episode. Um, we, we got our starter, we got our Ampharos, we got, uh, we got our starter killed, because Dragon Rage is a thing. Um, yeah. Okay then. <laughs> I still can't believe that happened. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this. If you do want to see more of this, then be sure to let me know with comments, likings, all that good stuff, uh, subscriptions. They're a good way to find and follow all that stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, there may be more of this. I don't know. I don't even know when, if, when, or what this will ever even see the light of day. But, um, yeah. I think we're cursed. I think we've been cursed. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to end off this part. My name has been Supersonic Blur. You guys have been a fantastic audience, and I shall see you all next time. Why is there a drop shit? Why is this here?